Hi, Dennis Ray here. Zorin OS Lite is a Linux distribution designed to be easy to use with a look Windows users will be familiar with. Zorin Lite is based on Ubuntu and has a XFCE desktop, which is lightweight, so it won't use much of your computer resources, making it a great operating system for older and newer computers too. Let's look at Zorin OS Lite 16.2. This is a Zorin Lite desktop. You see it has a nice, clean, familiar look to it. And on the bottom there's a taskbar. There's a link for time and date settings. And beside that, there's a link for Power Manager. And you can make your settings in there. There's a volume control, a link to look at your notifications, and you can make your settings in there, and you can see what it looks like too. And a link for internet connections. On the left side, there is Firefox web browser, which is the web browser by default. And then there's a link to the software manager, a link to the file manager, and a link to the main menu. Let's go back to the software manager. If we click on that and the catalog is loaded. Uh, in this, we can look at the main window, which will show all these different suggested programs and there are a number of them that can be installed and then there's a list of different categories that you can take a look at and this is a list of all the different programs that are already installed in Zorin Lite and if you want to un uninstall any of these you can just hit this button to remove it this tab will show you if there are any updates for the programs that are already installed. If you want to search for a particular program, you can hit this button and do a search. For instance, if I'm looking for um, WPS Office, let's see if I'll we'll find it. Okay, it found there I found it there so we can click on that and um, it brought up the information about it which you can look at details about it how big it is who developed it some information about what it does and if you want to install it you can just hit that button and it will install for you And uh, since Zora Lite is based on Ubuntu, it has access to the Ubuntu software depository and uh, it has something like, oh, nearly 60,000 different programs that are available in the, in the library. So you have lots of choices there. Also, when there are updates available, you will see an icon appear in the taskbar here, alerting you that updates are waiting. You click on it, then type in your system password to start the updates. Most updates will not require you to restart Zorin Lite. Let's take a fast look at the file manager. It's a very similar to a file manager in Windows. Uh, some of the same categories, desktop, trash, documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads. Very useful. This video needs you to like and subscribe so the YouTube algorithm brings it up as a suggested video for viewers. And we want that, right? So you can see it's important for you to like the video and subscribe below this video window to the Dennis Ray channel. Okay, thank you.
Well, let's take a look at the main menu. It uh, has all the programs divided out by category. Accessories. And if you hover over each program, it will tell you what it's for. Like a redshift, color temperature adjustment tool. For instance, uh, at nighttime, you don't want your monitor to be as bright. You can use this to make it uh, a little redder so it doesn't hurt your eyes as much. And there's a few more listed there. Games, graphics, internet, connect to remote desktops, nice, multimedia, see that there are a lot of very useful programs here making Zorin productive right out of the box so you really don't even really uh, need to install programs once you've installed the operating system on your computer settings and there are a lot of settings that you can use here making this operating system your own and system and here's a tour that uh, I would encourage you to take a look at right after installing it and the turnable for putting in commands And then on the right side, uh, user. And some of the different categories that we saw in the file manager. And settings. Uh, we'll take a look at those in a minute here. Uh, appearance. Well, let's take a look at that. So the layout. Right now it's in this but we can change it to layout which is just a little bit different in the taskbar the theme I have it set on dark right now but you can change that to lighter or day and night I like dark and then you can make some changes there if you want to desktop what do you want to show as far as icons on your desktop and some settings for fonts on the bottom of the main menu there's a search bar where if you type in a program name and it will bring it up for you Firefox there it is and on the other side you can lock the screen and there's a power button if you hit that to shut down the program you can either log out restart shut down suspend or switch users let's look at settings go in here about appearance in this we can change the look of the dark theme uh, right now Zorn blue dark uh, Zorn orange let's see what that looks like Ooh, yeah okay let's go back to Zorn blue okay better icons fonts 
and some other settings for menu buttons, vent sounds, window scalings, okay. Back to all settings, desktop. Here's where you can set your uh, wallpaper. Right now I have palm trees. And you got some nice selections there. And some other tabs where you can make some changes. Language support, menu editor, notifications panel, screen saver, window manager, window manager tweaks. Ooh, let's look at that. Okay, you got lots of different things you can change there. Workspaces, terminal, Zorn appearances, which we looked at before. Hardware, advanced network configuration, Bluetooth adapters, Bluetooth manager, color profile, profiles, disk display. That's where you can change the resolution. Ooh. Keyboard settings. Touchpad. Lots of different settings for that. Orange in printers, removable drives, media, sound. Accessibility, default applications, firewall configuration, session and startup, software updater. Software and updates, time and date, users and groups, onboard settings. Oh man. And you could spend a few hours looking at all of that. And setting manager or setting editor. Okay, a lot of different things you can set there to, as I mentioned before, make Zora Light your own. Let's take a look at how much memory or computer resources Zora Light actually uses. So if we go to the main menu, into system, the terminal, and in this we'll type in free space hyphen H and hit enter. All right now it's using 514 megabytes of memory, which is very good because uh, compared to Windows, Windows normally uses well over one gigabyte of memory or 1000 megabytes of memory at any one time. Uh, actually close to two gigabytes of memory, which would be uh, well, the, the Zorin Lite uses well under half of what Windows would use at any one time. So that's why Zorin Lite would be a good operating system for older computers. This is the Zorin download page, and I'll put a link in the description below. You scroll down and go to this bar to download the free edition. You'll get an ISO file. You can use a program like Rufus or Belon Etcher to install it on your computer. I did a video about how to install it and I'll put a link in the description below for it. That was Zorin OS Lite 16.2, a great Linux distribution for your new or old computer. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.